Welcome to a new Aster Weekly. The energies are ramping up. We are working towards a major conjunction occurring this weekend between Jupiter and Uranus. So the, there's an increasement of high voltage energy in the air. Uh, it can result into, you know, quite some uh, intense weather. Uh, you could experience storms, lightning, and other more intense um, natural, um, you know, occurrences in Earth, or not natural. <laughs> but, um, yeah, intense weather could occur around this week. Just a lot of energy in the air, perhaps, that would interfere with your sleep pattern. Uh, just a lot of almost anxiety and just a lot of energy so if you have maybe um you know the opportunity to ground your energy to neutralize your energy through working with earth um so you know walking on earth or having a foot bath or uh you know uh, things like that or meditation to ground your energy to neutralize your energy because the energies around us are pretty volatile and it's a mixture of excitement but also just a lot of chaotic energy and just too much energy um and you know those energies might collide right um so i highly recommend you watch my jupiter conjunct um uranus video it's pretty in depth and uh yeah a lot of changes are on the way and it's, it's uh, up to us how we navigate these energies to bring in the results we want, not the results that, um, you know, happen if we do nothing. So um, this week on Monday, we have a conjunction of our Mercury retrograde, the planet of our communication, our mind, of, you know, transport, of commerce, um is together with Chiron at 19 degrees of Aries on Monday and that is just you know perhaps you know trauma in our mind trauma with the words that were used against us or um just pain and and perhaps even anxiety regarding our identity who we are our you know self-esteem um, perhaps even our security, our insecurity of, you know, body issues, body shaming, body dysmorphia. Um, our mind is looking for healing and so it should. So that's working with 19 degrees of Aries. Now on Wednesday, um, no Thursday, excuse me, um, the North Node is meeting with Venus at 15 degrees of Aries and that is you know awakening to this uh feeling of security of of more higher esteem of um more kindness toward your towards yourself and embracing that you know you guide your life um you're the leader of your life and awakening to I suppose that power and just the worthiness that you are the self-value that you can feel to help you guide um, your life into a higher purpose um, into destiny and just to stay on that a little bit on Sunday Venus meets with Chiron at 20 degrees of Aries. So on Sunday, as you can tell, there's a lot of Aries energy this week. Um, as the sun is moving towards the end of Aries. Um, so on Sunday, these self-worth issues, these problems regarding our self-esteem are um, highly felt, maybe triggered. And... You know, um, there's this beautiful book, The Presence Process, that talks that upset, being upset is actually a set up 
so that you notice what is going on so that it kickstarts you into a healing process and that's the kind of vibe on sunday but i would say the entire week so either it's our psyche our mind our thoughts our the words we speak to ourselves um or it's self-esteem related to our body to what we find beautiful or do we find ourselves beautiful do we find ourselves worthy we're really working with that this week we're feeling triggered um so yeah you know you might really feel these issues coming up so specifically you're working with between 15 degrees of aries and um 20 degrees of aries this week regarding this um specific uh healing uh, of the self, of, of valuing who you are, valuing your body, um, and taking that charge, taking that leadership, and feeling the love for yourself, which catapults you into a courageous new, new motivation, new goals, um, that will help you feel more purpose in your life, uh, more passion in your life and and yeah you're working with that strongly this week so look where fifth between 15 and 20 degrees of aries falls in your chart are there planets or points in aries for your chart specifically then that is what you're working with this week and you might really feel that um so on friday the energy is really heating up the sun is moving into Taurus, so happy Taurus season, happy Taurians that are born with sun in Taurus, this is your birthday month, um, and you know, as the sun moves into Taurus, it immediately squares with Pluto, and this is a, you know, power struggle, um, authoritarian struggle, this is a struggle between uh, the usual conservative, comfortable ways of doing and being versus a grand opening up, breaking free into a very um, different lifestyle, um, really being push, pushed to move forward and um, to expand your horizon and your perspectives, your whole outlook on everything. And that's going to even result into a struggle within yourself a power struggle within yourself between you know um change or fixed into a reality that you have been knowing forever um so it's looking at the alternative a new approach as really going to challenge everybody but this is going to be on a collective level um you know as we've already felt and noticed um, some conflicts and, and, and uh, could result into serious struggles. Um, this could even affect our financial systems, especially because Saturday we're going to have that major once in 84 year cycle of Jupiter and Uranus meeting at 21 degrees of Taurus. And that is going to change our reality seriously. Uh, as it affects or the sun square Pluto affects this um, conjunction as well so uh, again as I said volatile energies major changes in the um, you know in the uh, waiting to be thrown into the arena so um yeah um just take care of yourself and mind you that it is a very busy energetic week um but the personal planets show us that you should take care of who you are and how you feel about yourself how you value yourself and heal that part so that everything else runs more smoothly at least in your own life um on Friday, it starts and it affects this major conjunction on Saturday as well. And that is that on Friday, uh, Mars is at 21 degrees of Pisces, uh, exactly sextiling this conjunction of Uranus and Jupiter that are who are already at 21 degrees on Friday. 
Um, so this is, you know, these major changes of energies are massively going to change um, how we do things. And it's going to change our motivations. It's going to change our life goals. It's going to infuse everything with a spiritual understanding that you are a soul and that you have to look at the bigger picture. You have to take into consideration perhaps things that are yet unseen because on Saturday when this conjunction occurs and obviously we're already in that energy as things are not exactly exact um, with energy, you know, it comes in a long time before and stays a long time after so obviously this conjunction of saturday has been affecting us for many weeks and will definitely continue for the strongly for the next few weeks but it's going to affect the coming 84 years so big events are likely to take place in my video uh, i talk you through the history and the mythology that might play out and these are pretty serious events, so you might want to take that, uh, take a look at that to see what you can expect. Um, and and knowledge is power. They say that because you can then, when you know, when you're aware, that's definitely something Uranian, and I would even say Jupiterian, uh, to then transform those energies, right? To um, change them. Um, so. A lot of changes, yes, and quantum leaps, okay? Quantum big steps, um, hopefully forward. Uh, and just major changes and hopefully not major crashes because Uranus represents uh, breakdowns, usually, chaos, uh, so that we work through a breakthrough, right? Breakdown, so we break through. Um, so yeah, um, Mars here in Pisces sextiling this situation um, is also a bit of a slowdown to our energies and really taking care of your body, your vitality. Mars here, you know, unseen things are taking place. Maybe we're not very aware of what is going on. Um, you know, Pisces also represents stuff like Pisces, uh, sorry, viruses and unseen like health issues or especially with Mars here. So just be careful with all of those things. Just take care of yourself very much as, you know, Taurus is also about the body and embodiment and taking that into the, you know, a fundaments, you know, taking the body is the the fundament of life and um taking care of it wellness is of course important but also its needs you know its pleasures are also to be considered and as i said it's also a very exciting energy you know um sun going through the end of uh aries all, a lot of our personal planets uh being in aries um this conjunction, very energetic with Uranus and Jupiter. It's just very exciting energy. Something is in the woodworks. And, you know, um, hopefully it's very beneficial. So, yeah. Take great care of yourself. Um, ground your energy. Uh, go quiet once in a while. Take your energy in, go into introspection, recharge yourself. And when the energy is too much, discharge that energy. And knowing that there is a lot of energy in the air and around you, uh, this may help when, you know, you are triggered or you're overflown with energy. Um, so, yeah, that's this week. Major, major week. So, um, take care. See you in the next one. Bye.